kitchen. Today we're going to be making a simple Subway sandwich like you get on the streets but a whole lot tastier because it's home ingredients. Um, guys, if you've been enjoying the video, subscribe down below. We'll be doing lots more over the future. And if you have any requests, make a comment down below. And uh, this is how you make your own Subway sandwich. So we're going to take our whole baguette here. There's no point cutting these things up before you, you start using them. So take the whole baguette and we're going to just cut with a bread knife down the middle. Now clearly if you're going to only be making for yourself, you wouldn't use a whole baguette. You'd cut the size you want, but we're often making for family. So we just cut all the way through the middle there, and I open up the baguette. Now some people will use butter, some won't, but I'm going to use a little butter on the base. So I'm just going to spread some butter along the base of the baguette. It doesn't have to be too beautiful, too pretty. It all tastes the same. Our butter's a little cold this time of year. Now one of the things people often forget to do is to season a sandwich. Now this is my homemade mayonnaise. Have a look here, I should put a little link here. This is the homemade mayonnaise that I make in my videos earlier. And I'm gonna put mayonnaise on the top half of the baguette. Do you call them baguettes, guys? French sticks? We lived in France for many years, so we call them a baguette, which basically means a stick in French. Okay, so we've got mayonnaise there on the top. We've got a little butter on the bottom. And we're just going to take our grated cheese now, fresh grated tasty cheese or cheddar cheese, whatever you call, call it. We don't have to be um, too precious because you can pick the bits that drop onto the, the surface, the counter surface, and put them in later. But you're just going to sprinkle that across the top. And then we're going to take either a ham or in this instance we're using a silver side beef but you can use any ham or chicken, shredded chicken whatever you prefer and you're just going to place that along the top of the cheese oh, I almost forgot, I'd like to put on mine, I'm just going to, some people like mustard, some people don't so I'm putting mustard, uh, a Dijon mustard on one half I'm just going to come halfway on the baguette one half of the baguette to the centre, so this side is going to be mustard, this side's not. If people don't want mustard, they can go for that. And now, we're taking our salad, and again, we're just laying the salad across the top of the baguette. You don't have to be too pretty. Some of it will drop out, but you can use it or add it to the plate of the person you're serving. This is looking absolutely delicious. I don't know if you can see that, guys. It looks gorgeous, the colours. and the... Now we've got our, our... Whoops, hang on. The thing I said to you earlier on, always season a sandwich. People forget to do this often. You know you season french fries, you season your food. But take a little fresh salt. Nothing nice than a little crunch of salt when you're eating a sandwich. And if you like, a little pepper over the top. Take the lid of your sub sandwich. Pop it on the top there, push it down firmly, and now you can take a slice, I'll just move some of this stuff out of the way, and now we can take whatever size, I'm going to serve them at about uh, six inches long or so, I'm going to take a slice, and there you have it guys, and you can see that is a beautiful French baked Subway sandwich. And as I say, you'll end up with some little bits on the side here. You can just pop them on the side of the dish. It tastes delicious. Let me have a little try of this. This bread, by the way, is called tiger bread. We get that uh, here where we live. Mmm. <laughs> Absolutely delicious, guys. Comment down below. I know this is a simple recipe, but it just shows you how you can make something as delicious as a Subway sandwich at home. It tastes a lot better. All the ingredients are fresh. The lettuce is crisp and fresh. It's, it's great, guys. Take care. Thank you.